Well, hello everyone, and here we have the GT Power sound and light system for our 14 scale trucks. This is the entry level system. Let's see what we get in the box and what it does. Okay, let's get this open and see what we get. Speaker, obviously. Hmm. Get a bunch of wires. Let's on that one. So I'll look how many we get. All the wires are the um, same length, and these are the two pin connectors. We have orange one, two, three. We have four, four orange, which I assume are for the turn signals. Then we have um, one, two, three. I'm assuming. I'm not even on camera here. Red. Red. Oh, right, we've got three red, okay, all right, that's here. white, three, white, five, so I'll put them in that finger, white, five, white five and a white three white five white five so it looks like we have two sizes we have two three millimeter and one two three four five six white five millimeter and um, see if it tells us on here yeah it tells us on here that we get two um, Right, what else have we got in here? All right, okay. Main power lead. One servo. Female to female. One, two. Three, uh, four of them, and another power patch in. We have a bunch of spare fixings, sticky pad, and a counterweight. And we have the horrible vibration motor. Not a big fan of those at all. So we need um, two servos and an electronic speed controller so let me get my 
board out because I'm going to need it. So, right then, folks, here we have um, it all fitted together. Um, I've done the usual sellotaping of the lights down because I hate messy wiring. Um, it was a little bit misleading at first because I couldn't figure why I couldn't get it to work. Because on the instructions here, you'll see that just here it says black, red and white. So I plugged in black, red and white, white being at the bottom. But I never saw that the line went to the top. So the white wires, the signal wires basically, um, on this side go into um, the top and on the other side all the power wires go towards the top so we don't have um, anything on there so without further ado, ado let me uh, just whip you out of the tripod and I'll give you a close-up guided tour now here we go we have um, six headlights which um, two main beam which plug into channels um, three and four just there headlight two headlight one which has four in there are these two here and these two here and turn signals right and left going 13 14 and left go 13, 15 16 um, neutral there is nothing in that one status light which is the power indicator and um, it's all self-explanatory you got two backup lights two bright lights so yeah pretty straightforward um, on this side I'll show you um, cause this was an absolute pain because I prefer my uh, throttle on the left stick up and down I'll use my DX8 so I use my throttle here and steering here just, just like the good old days um, and then this function is on this radio channel 3 so this is going to operate the functions that, 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 and what have you and this one is going and channel 4 which is the left stick left to right that's going to be the switch it's a little complicated it'll take me a little while to um, figure this out but I'll start from the bottom here this is the outputs now the output on this one I've got going to the shift servo which is this one's gonna basically gonna be the gears and the second is obviously the ESC so that runs straight to the speed controller and number three is not used it does say that in the instructions and then this one in direction control is steering obviously and that goes to this servo here uh, this is the old Futaba S3003 you can tell it's a genuine one because these are just round holes they're not slots and this is the new update version the SU300 um, it's the updated version of that very basic servos four kilos nothing really exciting about them uh, so the input channels channel one is the switch let me just trace that one back so channel one is going into channel three which i'm using for this the next one up is the switch channel which is going into channel 4 which is the rudder on an A 
airplane, which is this one. And then this number three of the input, this one here is the speed controller. So that is obviously going to go to the, um, the throttle, this one just here. And then the steering, which is the aileron, which is going to fit gently into number four. All very good. What do you think? And on the output side, all the red wires are at the top. On the input side, all the wires are white on the top. That's the signal wire. And this one is the speaker wire. There's nothing in the signal side. On there, just inside there, you have your volume control and uh, vibration motor sensitivity. I'm not fitting the I hate the vibration motor. So now what we need to do is in the kit we get two power lead options um, which is a JST um, one. I don't need that one. I'm going to use this one which has the, <coughs> the JR servo plug and a Dean's. <coughs> So, we shall plug that in just there, making sure that the power lead is incorrect, which is the top one isn't populated because there is no signal wire. And then that one basically goes onto your uh, battery. Right, where am I going with this? Um, need a power source. Now, in the instructions, it does say, let me have a quick, um, gander, where does it say? Ah, just here. It does say 7.4 to 12 volts, so you can either use a 2S or 3S LiPo. Now, I'm going to use 2S because they they fit in the truck. Um, the speed controller uh, has these two jumper cables for uh, LiPo because this speed controller does have a low voltage setting. That's a Hobbywing um, 1060. Yeah, 1060. The 1080's got a few more parameters. And um, I've got this set to... Um, this one just here, forward, brake and reverse. If you put this jumper over here, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're here to review the GT Power Entry Level Sound and Lights, not that. So, we need to power this up. So, I've got a battery. This is um, not a charged um LiPo, it's actually in store mode, it's only a 5200 at 30C, so it's putting out 7.61. Now, need to get a power from that to that. I've got this thing built in, um, so plug that into there and uh, see if I can't do this one handed. Yeah, we're in. We are in. So, as you can hear, the speaker is hissing. So, this is still powered by this. So, power on the radio. Make sure it's on the test board. And then we can switch on the system. And that is ready to go. Let me stick you back in the thing, power indicator on. We are good to go because if that was switched off, you can still hear the sp speaker. It's powered up. Unless you fit a um, either an inline receiver controlled switch or an off spare channel. 
um, that's going to be powered up. So let's switch it on. That's it. Let me get you back in the tripod and we'll show you what this thing does. Right, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you across slightly because you don't need to see all of that. Yeah. So we need to do is see that. Right, so to turn the engine on, we tap um, this stick up. And then throttle is, you can see the motor just here, spinning. And if I brake, the brake lights come on. And if I go back again, the reverse lights come on, reverse bleeper, pretty good. Um, signals to turn. You can see the servo just up here moving. Probably not. It's at the wrong angle. And um, horn is down. Pretty loud that compared with the thing. You can turn the volume down over here. So how do we get the lights to work? We hold this stick this way and tap down. And that gives you a hazard light. Hold this stick across and tap down, turns them off. Holding it to the left and tapping up, turns on four headlights, the headlights and fog lights. Tapping it up again, puts the main beam on, tapping it up again, all six are working. Here's a good thing, the shift servo. Right, you have an option of holding this this way and that changes the gear from first, second to third and then second and first. Up the gearbox, down the gearbox. If you push this up, engine shuts down still get indicators and you can still control your lights um, but there's no no engine sound so just tap this stick So what I'm going to do So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly unplug the power to the motor so you can hear the reaction of the engine So I've just disconnected the motor wire so we'll turn the engine back on and then full throttle Brilliant. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconnect the motor wire and disconnect the speaker. Right, that's been disconnected so there is no speaker but the motor will sound. So now you can hear what the motor does. So, very fast. So you've got more speed in reverse, more power in, in, sorry, more speed, you've got more speed forward and less speed back.
So that's something to bear in mind. If you do find your trucks going forward instead of backwards when you push forward, don't reverse your channel. Make sure the wires on your motor are the right way round because you do need that. More power going forward, less power going backwards because we don't want to be reversing um, too quickly. So yeah, that's something to look for. I'm going to show you what the power consumption is. So just bear with me one second. So right, reposition there. We've got a 2S that's in store charge, which is giving me 7.5 volts. Now, if I push the, the throttle forward, um, just I, I, what I'll do is I'll clip it here to reduce the volume and watch the uh, power consumption. All lights on. So what that shows you that a lipo gives a much more stable power that is on store charge so we're only losing half a volt with all the lights on and full power applied to the motor let's see what happens when we swap this for a fully charged nickel metal hydride so i'm just going to turn that off disconnect the power okay let's start the engine If we apply the power, all the lights are on. half a volt but nearly a full volt when we are powering on uh, that is a good um, battery that's only 3000 uh, milliamp power but lipos for these are much better they give a much better um, power delivery more stable whereas these really don't and they will cut out eventually. No drive to the motor. So there is a voltage cut out somewhere. That's built into it. And I've noticed that the um, light in the speed controller is flashing. Let's turn that off. So that's gone off now, the light on there. So... So 
So let me just switch out that jumper so the speed controller is not in LiPo mode, it is in nickel metal hydride mode. So let's just plug that into there. metal hydride kind of um, not very really stable so a lot of current draw so if you're running I repeat um, current draw is quite a lot um, on this system um, so you're really going to need one of these let's um, swap out this Back to um, LiPo. Right, that's back. Yeah, I can't, I don't know why the uh, power meter's not. Um, in focus. But anyway. GT power container lights. Um, I I like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is the vibration motor. It just shakes everything apart, and you don't see real trucks um, shaking anyway. So um, let's go through it. This. Um, once more, let me see if I can't give you a bit more height. I suppose I could have cut the camera, but oh well. No, we'll do it like this, shall we? We are still switched on. Let's get you over there. And I should try and move my stool this way. So, here we go, um, start the engine. Steering, left and right, we have horn that way, nothing that way, that's just stop and start. On this side we have throttle and brakes and then reverse. For lights we hold this to this way and tap up one, two and three. So we get four lights coming on first. Then the headlights, then all of them. So if we hold, turn those off. If we hold this this way and tap down, we get the four-way hazard lights. And this is the shift servo just here. So if I hold this stick this way. Switch between first, second, and third, 
on there if you hold this stick that way. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's um, the entry level sound and lights. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like it um, because you've then got the choice of what um, speed controller you have rather than use the built-in ones which the other GT Power sound and light systems um, have. Um, let's just show you. This is the, um, the updated version of the multifunction control. Um, this has got a built-in speed controller and you can use Bluetooth app. I'm going to be covering this one in a future video because GT Power have sent me trailer lights which is infrared uh, wireless so I'm going to set that um, set that up and see how they they work on it so yeah um, subscribe so uh, you don't miss that one because it's a new product from GT Power and uh, very grateful that they've sent it me to uh, have a look at i'm not sponsored by them they don't pay me um so yeah um any questions on this leave a comment um give it a thumbs up give it a like because it, it, it just helps my channel to grow that little bit and i'm not doing this to make money um i do watch how many adverts i put on um to get a little bit of um ad revenue but really i find adverts really annoying so i'm not going to annoy you guys with them so yeah that is um the gt power sound system i like it <laughs>